Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Jimin's debut is finally here. We checked out Set Me Free Part 2 last week, and what an experience that was. Wasn't like watching an MV, it was almost like watching an entire visual art performance, and it was spectacular fun to listen to. And now the full release is here. The title track on the MV for Like Crazy has dropped as well as the debut face EP, which we'll be listening to later today. Keep your eyes peeled for that album, listen later on, has also dropped. And this is a very exciting thing indeed. I've been, honestly, I wasn't really following this like solo project all that closely until we checked out Second Free Part 2, and wow, that song was an experience and a half. And I am so excited to experience so many more, almost like spiritual experiences sure let's roll with that in the form of the rest of the ep that dropped today so let's jump into the mv real quick once i'm gonna need to stock up on water before i do the album listen because i feel like i'm gonna be i'm in a very talkative mood today and that does not bode well for album listens because i'm going to be talking so much but jimin's late crease we got 4k we got english subs all come Confirmed. Let's just send it. Here we go. Jimin's falsetto is wild. His, his falsetto range. Retro synth? Okay. Oh, I'd love to switch up. Go with the lower synths now. His vocals also dropping in the register a little bit. Okay, so that was the chorus, and now I think we're in the post-chorus instrumental break now? I do love me a good retro synth song. I'm digging this so far. Oh, even more synths? Okay. Admittedly, I am a little bit lost on where we are in the song, but I'm okay with that. Falsetto is just, it amazes me every time I hear it. Because it's so quintessentially Jimin. Like, there's no other way to describe it. No one else does a falsetto exactly like he does. He has a very specific and unique falsetto tone that no one can match. And it's like, you know immediately when you hear it that, oh, that's Jimin. Not sure where I stand on how this chorus just goes immediately off of the verse. Or I guess the pre-chorus. Yeah, you don't really get a break in between the verse to the pre-chorus to the chorus itself. Take it back a little bit. What's the point? 
Oh shoot, that was it. Pfft, I thought I thought we were in the bridge. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, legit like I was lost on when we were in the song the entire time, which I think it's less about me not being able to follow the song and more about the fact that this song doesn't follow the typical pop song formula. That's cool. I love it when an artist decides to kind of break free of the industry industry norm and do their own thing. Because if that is the case and this song never did follow traditional like song structure, it works. I'm sitting here coming from a primarily like K-pop or into mindset in that I recognize what the like so typical song structure of a K-pop song is like, how a, a pop song usually progresses from beginning to end, how songs stylistically change based off of what section of the song they're in. Like Crazy kind of just takes the rule book and throws it out the window. I quite like it. I knew immediately once the synths kicked in that I was going to like the song regardless because I am a basic bitch for a retro synth song. Whether it be Keys, Killer, Purple Kisses Autopilot, uh, Triple S's... Shoot, I always forget the name of the Triple S B-side. Jimin's like crazy. It just... Synths work for me. And combine that with Jimin's, frankly, the only way to describe Jimin's voice for me is unique. Because no one can sing like Jimin does. He has such a unique vocal color. He has such a unique vocal range. He has such a unique vocal technique. He has a very distinct squeak in his voice that cannot be matched. And it's like you recognize immediately, regardless of like if it's a solo song or if it's a BTS song. Like it could be something you never heard of before, but if you know Jimin's voice, you know this is a Jimin song. And the song is just once it starts, it just doesn't stop. And I think that's the whole like advantage of the song is that once you listen to it, there's no good place to stop and think about it. It you just you're once you're on the roller coaster, you're on until the ride ends. That's how I feel listening to this. Like, I want to... Also, really interesting how the MV kind of loops back on itself. Towards, like, the very end. You've got, like, the running scene in the corridor. While he's, he's like, running against the flow of people. And now, at the end, like, he's running. That clips in reverse. The video begins with him on the dining room table ends with him on the dining room table except his hands has his one hand is like covered in the black smear whether it's like ink or whatever it is cool parallels there but i want to go back i want to listen to the entire first verse and just try and figure out what the breakdown is of the song so here we go wish me luck really nice intro with the acoustic guitar kind of have the throbbing 808 you hear the riser constant riser and then let the synth kick in and I'm pretty sure we're in verse one pre-chorus I think And I love the sound switch where it flips registers to a lower one. Now the question is, is this the chorus or is this the pre-chorus? Because then that would raise the question, is this the main chorus or is this a second part of the chorus? Because then that chorus ends with this really nice instrumental break. Where you let the song kind of like 
you let the song and that built up energy leading into the chorus just kind of slowly release itself. And then you're in this little interlude section that's entirely different from the chorus before it. And it's very reminiscent of like the instrumental behind the verse, but there's no vocal line. Long riser, back into the verse. So like the song structure itself could be just a really long first verse and then a standard pre-chorus, chorus, and then a post-chorus instrumental break as well as an interlude. Or it could be in just a really long chorus, just have a standard length first, standard length pre-chorus, a two-part chorus, the out the post-chorus instrumental, and then the interlude afterwards. Whatever the break, actual breakdown of the verses or of the song is, this song doesn't follow standard song structure from K-pop, and I think that's so cool. That makes it so unique, and I love it. I, I'm genuinely like re. I never was like a big army when it came to like BTS music. Like I was never, you know, just like pinpoint focused on their music ever. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I've liked their stuff, but I was never like really truly like engulfed in terms of like their music. But Jimin's project just has me so intrigued and so interested and like I've enjoyed every step of it. Whether it was the pre-release of Set Me Free Part 2 or even like the title track of the full album, full release now was like crazy. He's two for two on songs that he's released as a soloist. So much so that my brain is like wanting more. And I think that's really important, is that his music keeps people wanting more. And that leaves me so excited to check out the album later today. But this was so cool. Oh, man. It's such a nice combination. Because his voice and retro synths work really well together. But his voice also works really well with that like dramatic flair of Set Me Free Part 2. So it's like... He, in two songs, he's already shown off the absolute range that he can do in terms of sound and but in terms of just like skill set in general. Like especially vocal chops in Like Crazy and Set Me Free Part 2 have been immense. Like it is he's covered so much music with just his voice in two songs alone. It almost leaves the question, like, what else is there to show? But he has an EP with like five, six songs on it, so there must be more to it. It's just mind-boggling. But I'm going to take this excitement and I'm going to take it straight into the album listen. Hopefully I'll see a few of you over there. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see what channel icon is up there, you can find the back catalog stuff watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whatever upload new videos. And if you don't watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.